Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David. 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, all right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So did the lesson yesterday, whatever, you know, um, about, about um, reading the scriptures and having the Bible, Salakia. Yeah. Reading the scriptures and having the Bible out there. Or whatever, you know, while you reading the scriptures on your waist. I mean, so I ain't really trying to really get into that too much. But um, I talked to the um, brother Zion Amoth. Mind you, this was the first time me and the brother ever talked. Had a nice conversation, you know, um, conversation or whatever. And, uh, you know, he gave me some, he gave me his advice on, on a particular situation or lesson or whatever. And so, you know, um, so yeah, so I'm not going to show the guys' faces. I ain't going to even show the comments, but I'm going to just get into the difference between a carnal mind and a spiritual mind. You know, you can't tell me that having a, uh, you know, going out, reading the scriptures with a, with a gun on your hip is not spiritual. It's not spiritual. I mean, you could say whatever you want. We ain't saying it's a sin to have a gun. We ain't saying that you can't have a gun. We just saying while you reading the scriptures, put your gun away. That's it. That's all we. <laughs> that's all we saying. While you reading the gun, put your scriptures away. I mean, while you reading the gun, so lock it. While you reading the scriptures, put your gun away. It's, 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 it's a very easy situation to, to grasp, man. Romans 8 and 4, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh. Excuse me, Salaki, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And so tell me, ask yourself this question. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't even to them because the, like the brother Zahnamov said, like they not going to get it. Let Forget about them. This is to my brothers and sisters out there. If you got a, a, a gun on your waist or you putting your hope in a gun, are you spiritually minded? Are you being spiritually minded? That's that's one. Definitely you can't say that you in the spirit. You out there reading the Bible. You got the Bible in your hand. Reading the Bible with a gun on your waist. A gun visible. You ain't even trying to hide it, conceal it where they can't even see the gun like... Like it's on your in in your back. It's in you got it on the holster in your back where it's not even visible or whatever. You gotta look to find it. You got it right there where you can visibly see it. Is that spiritually minded? I say nay. <laughs> and as reading the scriptures out there, you gotta be an example, man. You gotta be an example to the people. You know, you gotta come up a. Hey, you're an Israelite, turn back to the law, statutes, commandments, you know, um, Jacob's trouble coming, the MOTB is coming, this and this and that, and they looking at you with a gun on your waist. You telling them to, you know, turn back, got to be spiritual, the law, you know, this and this and that, and the third, and they seeing a gun on you. Okay. Philippians 3 and 15. Let us therefore be as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto, 
we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so. Brethren, be followers together of me and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an, an, an example. Yeah. This what this what we supposed to do. We supposed to mark them that he's off. That brother is off right there. And and hey, he uh, I seen the elder um out of Baltimore did did the little thing, did did the law the lesson, and he's like you know um he showed a clip. Oh y'all could have pulled us to the side. Y'all could have said this to us. Y'all could have said that. But you saying that with one breath, and then in the next next breath you on my comment board calling me an FBI agent. Telling me that I'm I'm worrying about I'm crying and why I had stopped I did the lesson yesterday and I had forgot about it. And the only reason I did the lesson is because the lesson popped up on on Twitter and you talking about the beloved brother Kabai. So you talking about the the, the brother Kabai. I met the brother. The brother when I seen him the first time I met the brother, the brother was all smiles, was welcoming. He greeted me. He made me feel more welcome than I expected him to be. And I ain't going to lie. I was like, I see that brother on there. He looked, that brother looked rough. That brother never really. I go down there, that brother all smiles when he see me. And I even, so I didn't even come across as, I even apologized to that brother. I said, yo, brother, I'm, I apologize. You know, I ain't mean to make it a big deal, but when I seen it and this and it, and the brother said, yo, man, you did what the spirit led you to do, man. I even apologize to that brother. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know the brother be like, yo, you ain't, I did the lesson, brother. I ain't need you to, to you know, and do this and this and this and this and that. Yeah, man. Let's read 18 and 19. For many walk of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach, whose end is destruction. Whose end is destruction. Because you're supposed to be out there being an example. Matter of fact, what's that one? Whose end is destruction, who's, who's the most high is that is their belly and whose glory is in their shame who mind earthly things who mind earthly things you can't tell me man i looked up a thing that today they have i think it was 645 mass shootings this year so you can't tell me a gun ain't of this world man a gun is of this world man a gun is of this world a gun is a worldly thing man and you supposed to be out there being spiritual, man. This one just came into my head right here. Talking about, show me in the law where it's a sin. Nobody said it's a sin, brother. Romans 2 and 21. Thou therefore, which teacheth another, teacheth thou not thyself? Thou that preacheth a man should not steal, dost thou steal? And I'm not saying they still, but this is making a point. You caught telling people to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, be spiritually minded, come up out of this world, and you got a gun on your hip. Come on, man. Thou that sayest a man should not commit adultery, dost thou commit adultery? Thou that abhorrest idols, dost thou commit sacrilege? Thou that makest thy boast in the law, Thou that makest thy boast in the law, thou that makest thy boast in the law, <laughs> through breaking the law, dishonoreth thy power. Yeah. You, the law, the law, show me in the law where it say I can't have a gun. Come on, stupid. The word gun wasn't even, <laughs> the word gun, what guns wasn't even invented back there in the scriptures. How can somebody go in the scriptures and show you thou shalt not have a gun while reading the Bible? How can somebody do that, man? Come on, man. Come on, man. Y'all y'all not y'all not come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Show me in the scriptures 
where having a gun while reading the Bible is a sin. Come on, man. Come on, man. You trying to justify the bullshit, man. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 9. 8. Neither did we eat any man's bread for naught, but wrought with labor and travail night and day, that we might not be chargeable to any of you, not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. Second Thessalonians 3 and 9. Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example unto you to follow us. So you making yourself, you out there giving up your body as a living sacrifice or whatever the case may be, and you got a, 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 a gun on your waist. What example are you giving? What example are you giving? 11, for we are, we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. <laughs> Second Thessalonians 3 and 11. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly, working not at all, but are busybodies. <laughs> Walk, walking disorderly, man. Teaching with a bot with teaching with a with a hat on, a fitted hat on, teaching with a gun on your waist, teaching with a a, a dress, Shiva Jatas in your hair, a man bun up in the sky with a fade on and a line up on. You are out of order, man. You are disorderly, man. Disorderly, man. Couple more. Disorderly. That's what y'all are, man. Y'all are disorderly, man. Come on, man. Come on. You can't be justifying that having a gun is is something that, you know. Oh, well, Yahweh Shah didn't say put the gun down, put the sword down. Come on, man. And you, some of you young niggas, some of you young dudes out there, man, y'all just got daddy issues, man. At the end of the day, y'all got daddy issues. Y'all was raised by y'all mama. Y'all mama been telling you y'all daddy ain't shit all y'all lives. And so y'all don't want to hear no man, no grown man telling you nothing. You know, ain't y'all, a lot of y'all just got daddy issues. A lot of y'all got daddy issues, man. First Peter 5 and 2. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not, to, not by constraint, but willingly. Not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. Neither as being lords of the most high's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. This is what we supposed to be, man. Say, look at six. Look at six. Humble yourselves. No, I got this gun on my waist. I'm proud. My chest poked out. And if you say something to me, like that dude said that one time in the Sakari video, do you want to die today? First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that he may exalt you in due time. No, I ain't going to wait. I ain't going to wait. Look at 9. Whom resist steadfastly in the faith, knowing that whom resist steadfastly in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Yeah. He going to say, who are you to judge? Well, I'm a man that's out there doing the work. I'm on the highways and byways teaching. Was teaching for a long time by myself. And wouldn't even, I felt wrong taking a staff. The, my woman gave me a, 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 um, a staff. I even felt bad out there with the staff. I don't even, my staff is in the house now. I don't even take that out to teach. But I can't comment on it. I'm doing the work. I can't say, yo, brother, I don't think you need to have a gun while you reading the Bible. I can't say that. 
I'm the feds? I'm the FBI because I say that? Come on, man. Come on, Jake. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Get on the level, man. Get on the level. Couple more. Yeah, I don't want to make this too long. And, and and like I said, I you know, I just couldn't. My spirit was like, yo, the the, the brother Zahn Amoth was he gave me the you know, told me his opinion and how he would deal with it. And so I, I'm like, I took his advice and I went in between. I didn't do what I wanted to do. I listened to him. I didn't post I didn't show I'm not showing none of the comments that the brothers made. I ain't even gonna show who that camp is. I'm just going to do the lesson for edification. For edification. That's what he said at the end of the day. It's for edification, man. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and let's start at 22. Who have also sealed us and given, given the earnest of the spirit in our hearts. Moreover, I call the Most High for a record upon my soul that to spare you I came not as yet unto Corinth, not for that we have dominion over your faith, not for that we have dominion over your faith, but are helpers of your joy. By For by faith ye stand, by faith ye stand. And I'm not saying I'm over you. I'm the, who are you to judge? And then, no, I'm telling you, brother, look, man, brother, just put the gun down. Even the elder from Baltimore said, yo, he done commended you, brothers, when y'all dealing with Christians and this and this and that. So when we say something y'all don't like, it's, I'm the feds, we the feds. Who are y'all to tell us this and this and that? I bet you y'all loved it when the elder was singing y'all praises and gave y'all a attaboy or a pat on the back. Come on, man. Come on, Jake. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Come on, Jake. Two more. Come on, Jake. Two more. You know, I write a couple down, then some other ones are popping my head while I'm going. You know, the spirit will lead me here. The spirit will lead me there. Come on, man. Acts 20 and 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves. Do what? Take heed therefore unto yourselves. Huh? Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Rakakwadas, the Holy Spirit, have made you overseers to feed the church of the Most High which he have purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departure shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Yeah, man. You not coming in when you when you out there trying to teach and bring in and gather people with a gun on your waist. What type of people are you gathering? Are you gathering spiritual people or are you gathering carnal people? That's the question. So you got to ask yourself these things. And what it, and what I'm doing, my feelings, and how I want to approach this thing, is this what's best for the body? Is this something that, at the end of the day, that I could not be blamed for? All right. Let me close with this one. Ephesians chapter 4 and 22, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, that ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Yeah, man. You got to put on, you got to, you got, man, come on, man. 
You out there still with the... That's the same you that you was before you came into the truth, man. Carrying my gun. It's legal. It's legal. I can carry my gun. It's legal to do a lot of things, man. It's legal here for a man to marry a man. What that mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to discern, man. You got to have a spiritual mind over the carnal mind. Guns is a carnal mind, man. Don't be like that Sesame Street. That Sesame, one of these chairs is doing, you know, remember that? One of these things is doing his own thing. You're doing your own thing, man. You're doing your own thing, man. You're not being uh, spiritually minded. You're being carnally minded, man. Worldly mind, natural man, unbeliever, way of the world. <coughs> Come on, man. Carnal mind versus a spiritual mind. So with that one, man, we're going to close out. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Rukhahakwadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the elder bishops at GMS that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird. Tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations unto the remnant, men, women, children. Remain spiritual out there, Israel. Remain spiritual, me included, man. Remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirah and the Baba Ba. Barack Thumb, family. Shalom, Shalom, Israel.